Now comes this concept of embryoscopy named in this way after the first product, which was called an embryoscope. Uh, but in the meanwhile, there are four or five products on the market from different companies, all trying to modify our standard laboratory concept in embryology, as I've just described. And the principal change is that these, the, these embryoscopes uh, are usually closed systems where you put the eggs and the um, uh, the eggs and the sperm in fertilization takes place and the culture of the developing embryo happens in this closed system it is kind of in other words like an incubator that you never open to take out the embryos to look it's a closed system and instead of taking out the embryos and putting them under the microscope and looking individually, those embryos are constantly photographed. Every few seconds or minutes, a picture is taken. And so the embryologist can observe the development at, of, of these embryos really at a almost minute to minute stage. And the idea was that by being able to, to, to watch these developing embryos, we will have an additional embryo selection process. We will learn things from how these embryos divide, at what time points, how they look, which will give us much more insight into what represents a good embryo and what doesn't represent a good embryo, what represents an embryo with high pregnancy chance and what doesn't. That's obviously the holy grail of, of IVF and embryology. We all would like to know which is the best embryo, which is the embryo that will, with the greatest likelihood, will give us a good pregnancy chance. And the idea here was that since we cannot take out embryos from the incubator because every time we take them out they are disturbed it reduces pregnancy chances here in a closed system we can observe those embryos without any damage to them and therefore we will be able to figure out which is the best embryo wonderful idea except that so far no study has shown that it really works this new fashion which is widely being propagated, which some IVF centers use for advertisements, uh, is probably gonna be nothing else but the fashion.